President Emerson Numingagwa has been sued in court as a result of the Matapa Investment Fund's adoption, which detractors have criticized as a scheme to steal public funds. A Harare attorney named Frederick Nyaman filed a lawsuit against the Mingagwa and named the Zimbabwean Parliament and the Mutapa Investment Fund as defendants. In the current High Court Urgent Chamber application, the Attorney General and Justice Minister are also respondents. The Presidential Powers Temporary Measures Investment Laws Modification Regulations Officially known as Statutorians 156 of 2023, established the Mutapa Investment Fund as a legal person. It modifies the Zimbabwe Act on Sovereign Wealth Funds, Chapter 2220. The Mutapa Investment Fund is a collection of assets that will be invested in the future, including public equity, commodities royalties, and government allocations. Nyaman stated that Umingagwa has unrestricted authority to appoint the CEO and all eight board members of the Mutapa Investment Fund under the statutory instrument. In his founding affidavit, he claimed that the topic was of national concern and requested an urgent hearing. The public in Zimbabwe is always impacted by the regulations made in accordance with this legislation since they enable the first respondent Umingagwa to rule by decree and enact his own, enabling act, the Presidential Powers Temporary Measures Investment Laws Amendment Regulations. 2023 Statutory Instrument 156 of 2023 were passed by the first respondent in the context of this case, creating the third respondent Matapa Investment Fund, an unaccountable entity that holds the majority of the valuable national commercial assets and interests. Nyaman protested about a number of items, including the obvious breach of national procurement laws that are even codified in the highest law of the Republic. I humbly submit that the Act Section 2.2 is unlawful in the following ways. It gives the President main legislative authority to enact, amend, or repeal Acts of Parliament, with the exception of items pertaining to the Consolidated Revenue Fund and the Constitution. This is accomplished through regulations envisioned in Section 2.1 of the Act, which are made with the powers provided by Section 2.2 of the Act meaning they can provide for any matter that can competently be provided for in an Act of Parliament which includes new Acts of Parliament, Acts of Parliament that are amended, and Acts of Parliament that are repealed. This is a violation of and a conflict with Section 134 of the Zimbabwean Constitution. The President can, and in fact has in the past, enacted regulation statutory instruments that infringe upon and or limit the rights and freedoms outlined in the Declaration of Rights under Part 2 of the Constitution of Zimbabwe. He continued, it delegates to the President the power and competency to provide for any matter which can lawfully be provided for in an Act of Parliament. The fund was established in 2014. And among other things, it has specific goals include funding the nation's development ambitions and investing for future generations. Recently, Umingagwa controversially published the SI. Changing the name of the organization to the Mutapa Investment Fund and igniting a public controversy. The hearing date for the urgent application has not yet been scheduled.